Hey! 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 How's it going? Oh, cake. What's the occasion? We are celebrating Chris's new home restoration business. That's right. I bought my first fixer-upper. I thought Mary was your first fixer-upper. You need to fix up your sense of humor. <laughs> Clearly, I've honed mine. I baked the cake in the shape of a house, and since it's a fixer-upper, I slammed the oven door so the cake would fall. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey, uh, here you go, Sandy. Beautiful roses for my beautiful sister. Oh, thanks, Jay. Well, these uh, look just like my hybrid tea roses. Yeah. <laughs> run over my rose bush again? Well, I was trying to avoid the mailbox. I didn't, by the way. <laughs> oh, shouldn't we put Dave in the doghouse for that? No room, Tom. You're already in there. Because <laughs> you didn't change the light bulb in the basement. It was dark. Yeah, now that you're around, I'd have to run over their cat to get put in the doghouse. They don't have a cat. Not anymore. <laughs> Tom, did you bring my chip and dip? Tom did remember the chip and dip. And then he left it on the roof of the car. Oh, dear. Well, where is it now? Actually, it's in a lot of places. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Sandy. But good news is you can't put me in the doghouse. Already there. Well, this has never happened before. No, we never have repeat offenders. Well, what are you going to do, Mother? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, oh. Maybe I can... Oh, no. <laughs> I think we're just going to have to take your dog out of the system altogether. Oh. I've been banished from the doghouse system? Wow. I didn't even get kicked out of the system when I killed the cat. <laughs> All my life, just me, my signs that no one is allowed. Today, I met you, been together in a crowd. Now you're taking me to a world I see, so different from my own. But if you're there with me, I'll be fine. Why are you so upset? You didn't even want to be part of the doghouse system in the first place. When your mom first made a dog for me, you said it was a sign of me being part of the family. So what does this mean? Well, you're still part of the family. Just less than others. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chris can do no wrong. I mean, the guy sneezes and they're like, ooh, let's bake him a snot-shaped cake. <laughs> Thanks for helping me give up cake. Hey, guys. What are you guys doing here? Uh, well, we need to ask Tom a favor. Is everyone else dead? <laughs> I've run into a little bump in the road with my fixer-upper, and I need to borrow some money. You didn't ask Bill and Sandy? No, I'd, I'd just rather they didn't get involved. They tend to take over. That's why I came to you. You're too lazy to take over. <laughs> too lazy to get offended by that. But, uh, I don't know. Oh, come on, Tom. You'd be a family hero. Yeah, I would, wouldn't I? Okay, I'll do it. How much do you need? $10,000. Okay. Gonna need to get my bigger wallet. I'll go get the checkbook. I love writing checks. I don't want this to get weird, so we'll only let you lend us money on one condition. Oh, please. I'll do anything. You can't tell anyone in the family. I have my pride. I can't tell your family. No, that's fine, Mary. We're not doing this for credit. We're doing this because we love that good feeling you get when you do something nice for someone, right, honey? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, Mary, can you turn off the porch light on your way out? Oh, I get it. You loan us money and all of a sudden I'm your toady. <laughs> I knew this was going to be weird. Thanks, guys. I can't remember how long I've wanted to be my own boss. It's starting to come back to me. So generous.
serious, honey. No, it wasn't. The only reason I wanted to give Chris the loan was to get back on your parents' good side, but now I'm not allowed to tell your family. Why don't you just help out around the house? I mean, you're always taking the easy way out. Because it's easy. <laughs> I don't believe it. It's my agent again. Jake, yeah, look, I'm not going to ghostwrite a book for Tony Gonzalez. Tony Gonzalez of the Kansas City Chiefs? Oh, my God, my family worships him. Really? Yeah. Jake, I'm going to ghostwrite a book for Tony Gonzalez. <laughs> okay, you know, uh, yeah, Saturday, 11 a.m. is fine. You know, have him meet me at 127 Keaton Way. Well, that's my parents' house. Could you just... <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, no, no, it, yeah, it's very private. Okay, bye. You're going to write the Tony Gonzalez book. Oh, my God, that's so great. No, I'm not going to write it. I'm going to introduce Tony to your parents, and then I can be a hero, like Chris. <laughs> so you're using Tony for your own personal benefit? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm getting that nice feeling you were talking about. It's like a, it's like a hug. Nobody to tell me what to do or turn down the music. Chris, I can't hear you. Turn down the music. What do you want me to do next, boss? Uh, well, actually, I'm all set up here, so you can take off. And it'll just be a man and his project. Well, hey. here we are. <laughs> and your entire family. <laughs> wow, what are you guys doing here? You've been so helpful to us for so many years, we thought we'd return the favor. I brought my level. Uh, actually, it's your level. I took it a couple of months ago without telling you. Well, I really appreciate you guys coming down here, but I'd rather do this myself. Actually, honey, um, the sooner we fix up the house, the sooner we can sell it. And the sooner we can get out from underneath the thumb of oppression. I'm not a thumb. Okay, okay, but I'm the boss, okay? Um, all right. So I decided on this wallpaper for the walls. Sandy, why don't you start sanding the walls? And Louis, you can help her. Okay, now uh, I've decided uh, I'm going to put French doors in this doorway. Bill, you can hang them. And uh, Uncle Dave, you can make sure they're, they're level. Yeah, well, I'm not really sure how this works. <laughs> and uh, Susan and Mary, uh, I've decided on this green uh, for the molding. Why don't you two get started on that? Okay, boss. All right. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'm going to go to the... I don't have to tell you where I'm going because I am the boss. But I'm going to go to the lumberyard in case you needed to know. Boy, this wallpaper is ass. Oh, it's language. You know, this green would look so much better on the walls. I think it's a big mistake putting French doors here. First of all, it'll be drafty. And second of all, they're French. <laughs> They are. Security risk. Exactly. The French could get in. Chris is so lucky that we're here to think of all this. He really is lucky. Hey, Kellys! Guys, Louis, Sandy, Bill, Lou. Why aren't you here? You're always here. <laughs> oh, great. Hey, Tony. Oh, watch your head there. Yeah. Uh, I have to duck under that, too. <laughs> hey, I'm Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, nice to meet you. Uh, you want me to get you anything? Or something to eat? Something to drink? No, I'm good. You have a nice house here. It's private, right? Oh, yeah. We're totally alone. It's almost eerie. <laughs> wow, well, that's good. Because ever since that pushing off call in the playoffs, that's all anybody wants to talk about. Oh, yeah, that, that, that must be irritating to have to relive that every day. I mean, just for the record, you weren't even near the guy. I mean, you're both going up for the ball, both arms in the air, you know. Yeah, yeah, Tom, Tom, it's irritating. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we could have a ventriloquist act. There you go. Well, actually, I'm looking forward to hearing your ideas about my book. Yeah, ideas. I, uh, got a million of them. Well, I got a plane to catch, so why don't you just give me your best three? 
Right. Uh, best three. Well, uh, you know what? They're in the kitchen, so uh, I'll, I'll just go get them. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go long. So, yeah, hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hey, honey, I don't want you to panic, but your family's not home, and I'm scared to check the basement. Well, they're here with me. We're helping Chris with the house. But the thing is, I got Tony Gonzalez here, and I want to introduce them before he has to go. This is my chance to get back in the family. All right. I'll get him home as soon as I can. Great. But don't tell him about Tony. I don't want it to be a surprise. Okay. Oh, my God. We have to go to Mom and Dad's house. I think I left the oven on. Susie, don't be ridiculous. What would you be doing near an oven? <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> would I have been near an iron? Oh, oh no. no, I don't think so. <laughs> so. That's my favorite owl. Mine too. Let me show you all the other owls and we can, we can name them, huh? Actually, I'd like to start hearing your ideas about my book. Right, yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? I, I think I need to get into the head of what it's like to be a professional football player, you know? Well, why don't I tackle you, see what that's like, huh? Hey! <laughs> You're quick for a big man. <laughs> yeah, that was really difficult. You know what? I really should get going. I got a plane to catch. Oh, wait, wait, Tony. Look, uh, you, know, you know what? Let, let's start writing the book right now. Huh? How about that? Well, uh, well I'll do uh, the, the dedication, huh? Who do you want to dedicate the book to? Huh? Your mom? Your mom, uh, an inspiring coach? Uh, how about God, huh? People love that guy. Yeah? God. Tom, Tom, I just don't think you're the guy to write this book. Or, frankly, any book. Come on, Tony. Stay a while. Look, I'll make s'mores. Huh? <laughs> You're strong. We'll put that in the book. Tom, it was really nice meeting you. I gotta get back home to L.A. L.A.? That's it, see? We have so much in common. You're from L.A.? New York. But, you know, neither one of us is from here. Look, I don't care where you're from. Kansas is a culture shock. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, see, see, that's what your book should be about. Being an outsider in Kansas. Hmm. Now, that is an interesting idea. Yeah, yeah, and all that, uh, all that charity crap you do, we'll put that in the book. It's true. I do do a lot of charity crap. How about this one? Gas leak. There's a gas leak at Mom and Dad's house. Susie, we switched from gas to electric years ago. And that's what I meant. There's an electric leak. <laughs> Susan just doesn't want to work. And I'm right there with you. <laughs> the boss is back. Surprise! Oh, my God. Yeah, isn't it great? No. I left you all here with specific instructions. You, you painted where I wanted wallpaper. You changed the color of the molding, and there's a wall where my French doors are supposed to be. Yep, we all pitched in. <laughs> you didn't listen to a word I said. I was supposed to be the boss, but you guys just had to take over. What a diva. No, Tom. See, there's Kansas City, Kansas, and then there's Kansas City, Missouri. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Took me a while to get that, too. You know, my whole transition from home to Kansas City, I gotta tell you, man, it was tough. Oh, not as tough as I got. I'm still struggling with my in-laws. Seems like everything came easy for you. No, not at all. My rookie season, I was dropping passes, missing blocking assignments, getting yelled at by coaches. I just didn't feel like I was part of the team. But you know what I did? Picked up your coach and put him on a piano bench? <laughs> nah. I spent extra time in the weight room. I studied my playbook day and night. And I realized that if you want something, you got to work hard for it. You can't always take the easy way out. Yeah. Not me. I, I never take the easy way out. <laughs> you know what? We kind of got off to a rough start, and, and you seem like a nice enough guy. Maybe you are the guy to write this book. Yeah, you know, I would like that. It would be a lot of fun. Hey, Tom. Okay. 
You are so lucky the Kellys leave you alone. They go, oh, dear sweet mother of God. <laughs> You're Tony Gonzalez. Hey. Tony, that pushing off call in the Colts game was an absolute travesty. Okay, Chris, that's irritating. Oh, Chris. Thank oh. God you're here. We agreed that we owe you a big apology, so from the bottom of our hearts, with Holy Crap, it's Tony Gonzalez! How in the name of Sam Hill did Tony Gonzalez wind up in our living room? My new buddy Tom here is going to be ghostwriting my book. Ghostwriting? What do you think you are, Stephen King now? <laughs> Tony, look, I, I had no idea all these people were going to be here. Okay, that being said... Everybody, I would like to introduce you to Tony Gonzalez. <laughs> Brought to you courtesy of me. That's Mary, Chris, Hello. Sandy, Hello. Bill, it's Uncle Dave, and Lewis. Hey, nice to meet all of you. Oh, 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 Tony, <laughs> you should play tennis or golf so you don't have to hide behind that helmet. <laughs> You're gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know about that, but thank you. <laughs> Broad shoulders. Down, girl. Let me apologize for my sister. She gets stupid around athletes. Mary Kelly, associate professor of ethnogenealogy. It's the study the, of the origination of ethnicities. I took a class in college. Oh, really? <laughs> Did you ever read George Hectard's The Genealogy of Ethnicities? Of... Yes, I wrote a paper on it. Wow. Broad shoulders and a big brain. Oh, well. This is why Susan was trying to rush us home after Tom called. They wanted to show off Tony. You called them to come home? You promised me this would be private. Okay, look, Tony, yes. All right, I, 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 I screwed up, okay? But, but I still really want to work with you on the book. You know what? Forget it. You lied. I can't work with a writer I don't trust. Now that, that was pushing off. What did you do? Look, Sandy, I didn't mean for all this to happen, okay? I, I was just trying to get back into the doghouse system. I'm guessing it didn't work. No, you didn't. You betrayed Tony and now he hates us. Next time we go to a Chiefs game, we're gonna have to wear bags on our heads. Or, or those crazy multicolored wigs. I about wings. Now, if this gets out, it could tarnish my stellar 30-year reputation at the bank. If you don't count that savings alone debacle, which really wasn't my fault. No, it was that other dude. Huh? I think that this whole fiasco should remind us of one simple thing. Tom is bad and Chris is good. Chris. Oh, we are so sorry about what happened at the house. Uh, we'll really do a good job. Just give us another chance. No, that, that, that's okay. I really want to do this by myself. No, we insist. And this time we're going to do whatever you say. Really. Come on. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hold on. You guys are you're being way too hard on Tom. I mean, he... Tom does so much for this family, and he, he doesn't get the recognition that he deserves. Like what? <laughs> well, for one thing, he lent me $10,000 to start my business. Chris, what Mary, are you... the boss is talking. <laughs> now, I wouldn't have been able to do any of this if it wasn't for Tom's help. Oh, Chris, you're right. Tom, that was very, very generous of you. And you didn't even tell anybody. That's noble. Mm-hmm. See? So you shouldn't be coming to help me right now. You should be giving Tom a party, huh? Yes, we should. Yeah, and you know what, Tom? I'm going to take you down to my lodge tonight. You'll be my honorary guest. Bring your drinking pants. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I actually don't think I own drinking pants. Oh, then it's about time I quilted you a pair. <laughs> yeah, she quilted the hell out of mine. And you know what? I'm going to bake you a special cake. What kind you want? Um, I don't know. Um, cheesecake? That's fine. I can go back to the store. <laughs> Mom, I'll go to the store. But I don't have any cash. So, here's the five. Now we're even. <laughs> and you know what else, Tom? You're back in the doghouse system. Thanks, Sandy. Come on, let's get this party started. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. For what? 
Well, now I get to see what it's like to be the good son-in-law for once. Yeah. Yeah, you will. Have, uh, have fun with that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Did you, did you tell him about the loan just to get him away from you? Oh, Tom, Tom, Tom. No, I would never do something like that. No, I'm going to go work on my house all by myself. Hey, Tom, I got a picture for your drinking pants. And you and I need to look through the recipe book to select tonight's entree. And I want you to ghostwrite my term paper. From them in the play. You know, Tom, I think I can pull some strings down at the lodge, and I can make you a full member. We meet three times a week. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. That's enough. <laughs> hey, Tom. Hey, Tony. What are you doing back here? Well, I started to feel bad about storming out and knocking you into a chair. So I brought you some cheap jerseys so you could really impress your in-laws. What do you say? Next on 2020, the shocking side of cosmetic surgery, dying to be beautiful.